Hey guys, well, I forgot my GoPro, so I'm recording on my phone. As you can see, it's me and Belle. Say hi, baby. Well, it's kind of a sad day here. We're not 100% sure what's gonna happen, but she's gotta get checked. She's got a massive tumor under one of her nipples, and um, we're gonna go in and see how much a mastectomy is gonna be. Um, if the tum tumor is aggressive, it's been, it was there before for a while, and um, we, they put her on some medication, and it cleared up. Well, in the last two months, well, I'd say in the last month, it came back extremely aggressively. Like, it went from just a soft, normal belly to a softball-sized, well, not softball, maybe a baseball-sized tumor. And um, so I called the vet, and I'm like, is there any, can we put her back on that same medication that you had her on before? And he's like, well, he's like, I don't think it'll make a difference, but we can try. It was just an antibiotic. And I don't know why it made any difference before, but he told me it was like there was some kind of infection that was surrounding the tumor, which um, then cleared up when we gave her the antibiotic, which then cleared up the tumor. I don't know. But we tried the same medication. It's still rock hard. It's still there. And, you know, I could fit it in my hand like that, you know. And um, it's the same nipple she had um, mastitis on when she had her second litter of puppies, which was really bad. Like, that thing was ready to rupture. I mean, it was awful. So, this is what we're doing. We're, we've got the, um, you know, man and I have been talking about, you know, she's 13 now. And do, can we afford to spend... $1,700 to help her or and what is her quality of life going to be like do we go through the surgery do we you know put her down I don't know I, I can't even fathom putting my dog down I, I had to do it to my little boy Frankie my little, my little terrier Frankie and that destroyed me. I had to also do it to my old dog Kira. And I wasn't putting down, I was a bullet, and that was that was my dad. I didn't have I was gone. I came back. I'm like, where's Kira? Oh, I put her down. She was dying. I'm like, and you know, nobody told me and I had Kira for a long time too. But anyway, so I don't know what to do. I'm, you know, the kids don't really know what's going on. I haven't really said much to them. Amanda, you know, is with me on whatever I decide. But, um, you know, I mean, I guess the only way we could do this is if the vet takes payments. I don't know. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. We're, uh, we're headed into town now, and, um, you want to say hi? Yeah. She seems happy and healthy. The only thing that's aggravating her is probably she needs a claws trimmed, but she's, she's a very good girl. She's still very, very much aware of, uh, how much we love her and everything. <sighs> It's rough guys. Oh, careful. Oh, God, He's, she doesn't like that. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I know. Good girl. You've been so brave. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. unfortunate. Good job. Good job. Just wait there, Wiggles. I, uh, she had the same birthday as my daughter, and so okay. it's. We haven't told the kids yet, but. Oh. Yeah, it's always a. 
difficult conversations you're yeah. having, and you hate to have it too early with them, but yeah, yeah it's definitely going to be one of those things that probably worth talking about pretty soon here. That's for sure. Maybe you could make a bucket list of like all the stuff that she wants to do before her time ends, and it can be like a little project. That'd be a great idea. Take Chocolate a swimming. at the very end, though. <laughs> yeah, we've got to be careful with really fatty foods. There's something okay. that can make them really sick GI-wise. Uh, so I just be careful okay. with that. Maybe you should try sledding once. Oh, she does. So many yeah. options. She likes to go swimming, uh, go on the boat. Um, uh, yeah, she's a uh, playing catch. So uh, her favorite thing in the whole yeah. world. Well, God, you can. There is no restrictions on activity, <laughs> so we can keep going bananas. She can still catch a frisbee. God, so. the mouth works, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a pretty amazing old. dog. You're just older, kiddo. You are fancy. Right. I never had a lab. I always had spaniels. There you go. Oh, <laughs> thank you, you so much. That floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, peppered it. Okay. Great job. Oh, here, well, thank you guys. Oh, okay, well, try not to cry. Oh, can't run with that. So it's non operational, the tumors spread throughout her lower belly there's four or five different little tumors starting Oof. I think I just ran the stop sign <laughs> no I didn't I gotta think here he said that, that she doesn't know that she has it he doesn't know or she doesn't know that she's sick, not yet. Uh, he's like, when she starts licking it, that's when thing will start spiraling. He's like, when it starts becoming red and inflamed, kind of gross looking, he's like, that's when we'll, we'll put her on more antibiotics, try and elongate her life as long as possible, or prolong her life, sorry. But, he doesn't, you know, he says maybe summertime. Whew. This is hard. So, uh, it's just a waiting game now. We're just gonna. try and enjoy life as much as we can because uh, it's not going to be much longer but she's a happy girl aren't you baby you're a happy girl She's still acts like a puppy. She said, I, I, that I remember picking up at the racetrack. Yeah, she's a good girl. You're a good baby, aren't you? Well, we're home. You guys want to see what I'm talking about? Come here, girl. <clears throat> you can hear Chester prancing behind me. He's like, ooh, we're going to get cuddled. He's <laughs> No. Bella, come. Get up there. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Roll over. Come on. Roll over. Roll over, baby. I gotta look at it. I know, honey. I know. Stop your crying. 
All right, so this is it right here. Like this whole mess. You stop your crying. You're okay, honey. Daddy's right here. And it, there's several. There's one over here now. And this nipple. And they'd have to remove basically her entire nipple section. Or udder. I don't know what you would call that. I think they need to go potty. Yeah. That would be. I need to go potty, Daddy, right now. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah. Shut up. Chester, God, mom's sleeping. Yeah, I'm gonna let them run. Go on, go play. She's like, aren't you gonna tie me up, Dad? <sighs> so, after uh, getting home, I've been home for like an hour now. And I did a little bit of research because the vet told me that there's nothing out there that could make that tumor shrink. And I know that there's medical you know, they suffer cancer patients for humans that have the ability to shrink tumors. And I'm just like, well, I wonder, you know? So I did a Google search and there is tons of stuff out there to reduce tumors and specifically dogs. Um, so I went a little further into it and I'm reading some of the reviews and there's this one medication, Let's see here. It's really bright out there. There's this one medication. It caught my eye. It's called Life Gold. Uh, pet Wellbeing Life Gold. Immune system support. Antioxidant protection for dogs with cancer. Um, so there's this whole thing about how it shrinks the tumors, um, tons of reviews on it, saying that it's really good at specifically shrinking mammary tumors, um, you know, which is what Bella has, and she's got several others as well. Uh, she's got one on her, where is it, behind her right shoulder. She's got one on like right here in her chest um she got skin tags one on her right side of her chest one on her muzzle and um but anyway it's so it's supposed to and, and the reviews were excellent like they were they they seem to be legit reviews so i'm gonna get some it's 35 dollars for a little vial probably getting ripped off but now i'm gonna do what i can to help her you know, it's just what a good pet owner would do. You know, I mean, I love her. So I'm going to try and prolong her life as best as I can. <clears throat> anyway, so that's one thing. I'm, I'm, I got to say, though, I am really upset with the vet. I mean, he didn't even hint at anything that I could have gotten online. Maybe he knows better maybe he he obviously knows more than I do I mean he is a vet and maybe he just thinks that all of them are just scams I don't know but I can't just you know not try and help her I'm not gonna wait for her to just keel over and die I mean if there's stuff out there that can help her I'm gonna use it I'm gonna try I just hope it doesn't make it worse Where's my lab? Oh, God. Anyway, so it's the first warmer day in, like, two weeks. It's above zero. So I'm going to finally get out in the shop and get to work. And, um, oh, my God, they're playing. They're... And I've got a knife show coming up March 13th. You know, all the garbage, we can't burn our garbage because our garbage can is full. I'm going to have to find a new garbage can. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get, I got some knives already ready. I just got to um, shape them or uh, surface grind them and put bevels on them and handle. 
which has three Skinner blades. So I'll get those done. I might turn them into, actually I got an idea for something. Uh, I've got some elk antler laying around, so I might just cut out some antler and um, what the hell is this? What do you got there? You took the bread bag? Dummy. Anyway, use elk antler as scales. Not hidden tame, but actual antler scales. Which you can do pretty efficiently or effectively with uh, oak antler. So I think that's what I'll probably do today. Is I can knock a couple of those out of the park. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna spend, cause I've got, well let's see. Today is the, what, 17th, 16th. And um, just pulling up my calendar here. I want to try for at least 10 knives, which I think I can do pretty easily. Still got another, well, we got a few more days of February left. Yeah, I can have several. I, I'm gonna go for 20 knives, maybe even 30. That's gonna be crazy. I've never made that many for one inventory and I mean, but you know, I mean, if I can show up with a lot, I can knock down prices. Um, I'm gonna have merch too, I'm gonna have t-shirts and hats. But yeah, so it says here I've got, that's four, eight, 12, 16, why am I counting by fours, 20, 25 days. I've got a month. Just un just under a month. Where is Bella? So, uh, I think that'll give me... I'm going to save, like, I'm going to work two to three weeks just on knives. And then the last week, maybe a week and a half, I'm going to devote to entirely to sheaths. And um, I think I'll be able to work it out that way. So uh, I guess it's we're gonna get busy here, which is fine with me. I, I like being busy. I just hope the temperature stays up, and I hope I have enough money set aside to buy supplies because I'm gonna need handles or handle material. So anyway, let's let's get to work.